Everyone has been here, scrolling on social media instead of doing work. But why? It's a scientific process called cognitive dissonance. So our conflict here starts when our goal and immediate desire collide. Inside the brain, the dorsal anterior cingulate cortex notices that the goal and action don't line up. Then it fires a signal across synapses, which pushes the problem to the anterior insula. That alert then hits the amygdala, and like an alarm clock, it starts beeping constantly, which turns up discomfort and guilt. Now, to convince yourself, instead of correcting the behavior, the prefrontal cortex reframes it in a better sounding way. And this is called rationalization. The prefrontal cortex helps construct that justification, the hippocampus retrieves a convenient memory where a break seemed to help, and then it integrates those pieces into a coherent belief that feels true. To keep discomfort from returning, dopamine is released, delivering a positive teaching signal saying that rationalization worked, do it again, amplifying that reinforcement. With repetition, the control shifts toward habit circuitry in the dorsal striatum, which makes the response start to run on autopilot. This is the cognitive dissonance loop. The dorsal anterior cingulate cortex and insula detect the conflict, the amygdala creates urgency, the prefrontal cortex rationalizes it, and lastly, the dopamine teaches and reinforces it until it becomes a habit. Social media was built to manipulate the brain, to take control of cognitive dissonance. And the social media creators know how our brain works. They study our reward loops and sell us comfort. And while that instinct once kept us safe in the wild, it keeps us stuck today. But we have evolved to overcome primitive instincts. So put the phone down and don't let the scroll win. Choose truth over comfort, one action at a time.